But yeah, the total at the end of this video is... Okay guys, so we're starting this episode on around £3,890. Um, that is where we left off from the last episode. So if you haven't watched that, be sure to click the little I um, corner of the screen somewhere. Um, there will be a link to that video. Make sure you've seen the first three episodes first before you actually watch this one so you know what we're doing in this series and how we've actually gone from 1,000 to 3,890 so quickly without actually blowing a count or just doing it in one trade over leveraging extremely. You know, I have over leveraged a little bit, but you know, it's gonna take me years otherwise to get 1K to 10K. What's that, a 900% gain? Something like that anyway. Um, you know, the hair is too long, it's going in the eyes but that's not relevant right now. All I'm thinking about is pips. Okay, so before we actually start this video, be sure to follow my Instagram. It's on the screen now. It's my only Instagram. I've seen a lot of scam pages out there that are trying to be me. Um, if I message you first, then it's not me. If they pretend to be me and they message you first, I will never message you first. So if you get a message from someone that's pretending to be me, it's not me. Um, and my only Instagram is on the screen there. So. There you know um yeah let's try and smash 500 likes on this video and i will release another one uh maybe the end of this week you know i'm feeling generous so yeah but what i'm actually going to start with on this episode is actually talking about my analysis for this trade because there's no point in me just showing you oh i made 100 pounds here 500 pounds here stuff like that it's just you don't really learn from it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you my analysis um, of this trade I took. So, what I'm actually doing is trading gold for this series because it's my favorite pair, traded it the most, and I just know the most about it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, what I was doing was, I had this little area marked out on the 15 minutes. So as you see, we had rejection to it here, rejection here, although we were a bit volatile here, broke through it. Um, and then we broke above it here. So you obviously know what we're looking for. We're looking for a, a retest of this area. We've closed bullish here. But what we actually looked for was price came down, down again. And at, on this wick, we actually went into the five minutes and we entered around here. So just before this candle closed bearish, we entered a position. So if we go into five minutes still, we were looking is actually looking for price to break this little um, resistance as you see we've created a new high so what we're doing is we want to create a new higher high here um, so we can see price continue up our stop loss was about a one two three um, not sure where we entered um, it was around there I'm pretty sure it was yeah, 2.993 risk to reward um, but yeah we did actually smash it to the pip perfection closed at exactly three percent so we entered down there price went a little bit towards the entry as you see could have got another position on that boom bullish engulfing candle right off the entry could have got another little position there so see projection of that area again as you see pushed above this line here is when we're one percent in profit so you know, only 21 pips stop loss and we're 23 pips in profit. So we're already floating around 1% in profit. Um, we had a wick into this area, boom. Rejected this area. You're probably thinking, oh no, bearish engulfing of this area. But you know, I wasn't worried, I wasn't worried. Again, rejection off this um, entry. Wick into the entry, boom. That's what we like to see. Very, very bullish candle there. Oh, another one. We closed above. As you see, now we are in a nice little uptrend on the lower time frames, creating higher lows every time. And now we've created a higher high here. And then boom, close above, wick into it, hitting the take profit um, for 3%, tapping it again, pretty much. And then this is when we had gold absolutely melt. So as you see, then we began creating a lower high. So this is when we knew gold was going to melt down again. Boom, as you see, we wicked into this support which we had, came back to retest this little area here. So we broke, came up, created a lower high, broke 
tested the support, created another lower high um, with a rejection here, then bearish engulfing. Yeah, we just carry pushing down. Rejections into this little resistance here. Um, and now rejections of this area, which price is currently um, trading in between this area. So we are in a bit of consolidation here. Um, so you know, we'll be interested in to see what price does. Um, cause, yeah, because then we came back up. And if we move along, we just play this. As you see now, price is in a nice little bit of consolidation. I didn't realise it was that long ago. It was only yesterday. Ah, five minutes. There we go. So we entered this yesterday at around 12 o'clock. So it was just into the New York session. Um, so that was nice trade there. I usually trade gold around 12 to 3 um, in the afternoon. Obviously UK time. And um, that's how I found my strategy on gold, these quick positions. Um, I think in my VIP, link in the description, um, we are up 16.8% this month so far. We've had eight trades, seven winners of uh, a 16.8%, so we're not complaining with this. And this was another trade where we had a nice 3% gain. So as you see, we are a little bit bearish here on the 15 minute now. Uh, and we have um, actually kind of been holding this area here quite nicely if we go on to the higher time frames you can see that we broke below then we bullish engulfing closed above and now we've got this tiny little area here um, where we've had a little bit of resistance before before we drop down below this area so it will be interesting to see what price does from here um, but yeah I do only trade on the lower time frames when I'm looking for entries I wouldn't usually go down and analyze on the lower time frames. I usually be looking on the four hour. So as you see, multiple wick rejections of this level, um, which we did actually have drawn out on the lower time frames. But as you see that there, and these levels where we've seen rejections on the lower time frames have actually just been broken straight through on the higher time frames. As you see, a huge wick here um, down on this candle from 47 to 57, nice 110 hip wick rejection and then we obviously carried on down but yeah the account we actually made a nice bit of profit um, I'll quickly pop up on the screen here and I'll just show you the account um, so on gold if I show you this if I type in gold we made on that trade um, we did enter a tiny bit later than I sent it in my signal group um, 500 and I don't know if you can see that but I'll put it on the screen anyway 537 pounds profit on that one we did actually make a little loss um, the end of last week uh, around 40 pounds or so so when we started this week we were on around 3850 sort of price um, and then obviously we've had this nice trade so we are on a total the end of this episode on Drum rolls. Four, three, eight, seven, point, zero, three. Lovely, a lovely profit. Um, I'll quickly actually show you what we are looking for. Um, I've actually been limiting what I'm trading. So I'm now only focusing on um, Euro Yen, so Euro JPY. Um, we've got GBP AUD. Um, these zones aren't actually valid anymore, um, so we're going to delete them because I have actually just been focusing on gold. Um, so yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens on these pairs. And obviously we are trading gold mostly, as you probably know, on the channel. Um, but yeah, these are the pairs I have been keeping an eye on. Um, so if you see any trades of mine, they are probably these three pairs only. Um, I don't usually like to trade any other pairs. These are just what I've practiced on. I've practiced on these since the start, especially gold. We have a very, very high win rate with gold, actually. So that is very, very nice. And the thing is with gold, it does take a lot of time to learn because I've got a lot of messages on my Instagram with people saying, oh, how do I stop getting wicked out on gold? I enter, 
wicks me out and then the move happens. So you know, you just got to know when it's gonna happen and I've been right 87% of the time this year whilst, whilst trading this pair. So I know a fair little bit about it. So if you want some advice on that, then join my VIP I guess, or buy my course, the link in the description. <laughs> Bit of promo, you gotta love it. You know, I'm getting these more sources of income whilst also helping you trade. So, you know, we're both winning at the end of the day. So, yeah, look, we extended that zone there, which we had from our entry down here, rejection, and price broke it, came back up, retested this, bearish engulfing. You could have entered a short position there, would have been beautiful. Stops just below this high here. Um, obviously just a bit above and then you could target I always want at least a one to two um, so you could have targeted there you would have been an entry but you would have been a nice nice amount 1.5 are in profit um, but you know it is what it is we didn't look at this trade because I've actually had no power all day I know it's pretty sad but um, electrician came around took the power away from me took my profit away from me at the end of the day you know I don't know what I'm gonna do about it I might get the lawyer involved you know what I mean but yeah only joking so we're ending the episode on 4300 so total profit 3387 pounds I'm not complaining in the slightest about that so if you do want another episode 500 likes on this video and there will be one coming soon I also saw someone ask for a beer tutorial so if you do want a beer tutorial just let me know as well um, because you know this takes some skill but yeah I'm not joking see you in the next video